All right, chat. Let's continue. Let's see how it goes. Um, our coaching. That's what we're going to watch next. And then we got I'm so good. Fight. Let's continue on to the next one. What's the cursor? There we go. Four. Let's go. I'm going to ping actually. Arriving at watch point Gibraltar. Ready for battle. There we go. And let's see. So we are playing Sigma on Gibraltar. We're looking at them twisting you. Sigma on Gibraltar is still a good choice. Sigma right now is basically good on like most, if not all, maps. What do you do? Just hold the defense. I mean, just hold the high ground. One of us still hasn't chosen, which is always unlucky. Uh, you have to, yeah, yeah, there you go. You have to step on the little toolbox to make the jump. Do you only do tank reviews? No, I do everything. Uh, it just so happened that today I've got a bunch of tank reviews. I've got a queue, and it just so happened that today the first two were tank reviews. I, I think I've got a DPS next, like, I'm so good is a McCree Tracer Widow Diamond play. By the way, let's read, let's quickly read this. I'm a tank main. Uh, what the Doomfist thing you posted. I'm trying to master sick. This vote is a win. I think there are some aspects I could improve on. I'd greatly appreciate it if someone could share some knowledge. Often find myself wondering what can I do to help more. I try not to blame my teammates, but sometimes it really feels like the issue. I would feel to be proving wrong and I'm eager to learn. Any and all help is welcome. My goal is masters and I think it's relative, relatively reasonable, but please be as critical, uh, as critical and constructive as possible. SR is 2900. Uh, but yeah, the answer is no. I don't do only do tanks, I do everything. It just so happened that today we started with two tanks in a row. So, you look down, you jump, or you can just rock jump. I don't know if you know it, but if you look down, rock and jump, it's similar to the Saria uh, jump. You can actually get high out of that. I'm not against this. Again, playing close is ideal. Like, I will be ready to back here as soon as possible, but I don't mind uh, why you're sick. I don't mind you getting a little bit of extra damage. You shot the monkey, this is good. Stay outside of the bubble, by the way. So, Chula, let's, go, let's do a quick Sigma explanation. Sigma is a hero that can do everything but close range. You can spam, you can hold an angle, you can do tons of damage, your ult is good, you can take every 1v1 in the game, but you cannot fight up close. This is bad. What you do in this instance is you back out and try to draw the monkey out of the bubble so that you can shoot him and your team can just help you kill him. But you do not want to be this close to the monkey. This is why I recommend starting here, because from here, you can still shoot here. Sigma's got like a very... Like, hold up, let's take a, a, a second of a break already. I want to show this at the very start, so I don't keep having to come back to it. <coughs> so, Sigma. Sigma's range is actually about 15 meters, which means you can hit people from this range. Look how long this is. Even this is it's, it's within range. His range is very, very long. And the fact that he's got a little bit of a, a timing between the shots means you, you can hide. You can pick out, shoot, hide, pick out, shoot, hide. And this is the Sigma cycle. You pick out, shoot, hide, pick out, shoot, hide. Being closer is bad for Sigma because... Yeah, he can still do damage, but when you're close it's more difficult to aim. And usually people that can get close to you do more damage to you when they are up close. Also, if it's for example monkey, you cannot shield the monkey, you cannot eat the monkey, and your shots only do 110 damage, which is more DPS than the monkey can do to you, because the monkey only does 60 I believe, but at the same time it's difficult to hit the closer you are to target, 
the more difficult it is to accurately hit it with the Sigma Balls. Uh, also, you get distracted, uh, yeah, you, you forget your team. Instead, you just play as far away as you can, doing as much damage as you can. When someone gets close, you back out. You use your shield to back out. You keep backing out, you use any cooldown you have to use to back out. Even the broke if you have to. And you go to the next one. And now the next corner is safe, right? So the people that were here, that tried to come here, will now find that you are here and shooting this way. In the case, uh, let's go back to the review. I just wanted to show that Sigma's range is very, very long. For that one in particular, it's this one, right? View. Arriving at watch point directly. Yeah. Here is fine. So the monkey jumps again. You don't want to be this close to the monkey, and um, there is the reason for you to use your shield here. Again, uh, your shield is a tool you use to back up. Your shield is your shield. It's not Reinhardt. Like Reinhardt goes, I will be your shield, and he tries to shield the entire team and protect them. Sigma is a selfish asshole. This shield is your shield and your shield only. No one else in your team gets it. It is your shield, it's not used to block random spam damage, it is only used to help you make rotations backwards and blocking cooldowns. Your shield is gone, so that's really bad because they have a Widow. Don't do this, like, why are you frontlining so much? What are you trying to achieve here? You are wasting a cooldown. You are wasting your shield, you don't have to put it out there. You should take it back. Like, what's your shield blocking right now? Nothing. Like, the Widow's not gonna hit Diana from here either, so it's not even like you're helping Diana. Right now, it's not even a matter of you shouldn't be shielding your team. Right now, it's a matter of you are shielding nothing. And this is important for two reasons. Once you get your shield back, it recharges. Two, uh, it prevents your shield from taking more damage. We should give up the high ground, like... Why are we still even holding the high ground? The rotation you make isn't this, the rotation you make is this and you hold here next. Or maybe here if you feel pretty confident, but it's not great because you give up this flank. <laughs> Shielding this area here is fine because, again, this time you're using the shield to facilitate a rotation to the corner. Which is what you should be doing, yeah. Your monkey killed your team. You could be getting a lot more value, you're just... You are just existing right now, right? Which is not bad. With Sigma, you do want to exist as long as possible. Good kill. Miss Rock, which is unfortunate, but good kill. Uh, I think the problem right now is that you don't know how to stay away. You keep trying to close the distance, and with Sigma, you want to create as much distance as possible. Also, this, your usage of the sack is really, really bad. Like, you've tried to eat the monkey damage, you've tried to eat at the front line with, like, a Widow. you tried to eat the blade. <clears> oh, <throat> Alexa, by the way, if you want to submit a review, I have a Discord, there you go. You can just post your code there and I'll get to it when I can. I couldn't stream last week because of uh, holidays, so I got a little bit of a queue right now, but it's not too bad. So the good point, what do we do? We just hold the corner, maybe this corner instead, shoot the long range and just keep playing Sigma. The way you play Sigma is that you have to be very patient. Sigma is not Reinhardt. Sigma, like, this shield is not a shield you should be using. If you're Rein, maybe, even then it's not ideal, but with Sigma you should be playing like a freaking coward. You play here, you pick your shoot, you pick your shoot. If they try to push, fuck off, I'm backing out before you even get to me. I think you're also just throwing the rock whenever you can, rather than saving it. Because if you save that, you will be able to rock the monkey right now. Just look at him. If you rock him, he's dead. If you rock, if you had rock right now, he would be fucked. I like that you didn't wake him at this time. This is a decent shield, but again, remember your shield is for making rotations, not to block damage. 
So this shield is okay because it allows you to get out of the open and need recover. But you should take it like again, you're just walking in the open. You should not be doing this. You should be walking to cover. Your shield is almost gone and you are not taking it back even. And your tracer is popping off. Saria has no bubble, so I, this would be where I use my seagull. But the fight is won, so it's not necessary. Don't use it, don't use it. Like, I was gonna be like, using one ult to confirm the fight is okay, but we ended up using two ult, so I'm like, please don't use it. Monkey should die, just rock the monkey, you missed the rock, it's okay. He dies anyway. I'm not too against this, trying to get a pick, but you know to know your limits. Like, you are using cooldowns, and their team is respawning, so this is the point where you get out. You are getting out, I like it, no reason to shield there. No reason to be this close. Again, Sigma has a very long range, so you should not be this close. Also, they went fine with Saria now. No more monkey. So, we engage. We engage with this. Why? Well, there's two reasons. Flux has two very good uses. The first one is wasting resources. So, by using Flux, we'll probably get out Nano, Volk, and both bubbles. The other one is confirming kills, so you either use it very early to get all of the resources out of your team, like Emo, Trans, Volk, Nano, Bubbles, anything you can think of, it is likely that you, if you get a lot of people in the flags, they're gonna use it. The second one, it is the exact opposite. It is a... Uh, you can use it to confirm kills after the resources have been used. So if they, don't, if they don't have any bubbles, if they don't have emo, for example, they don't anyway, but you know what I mean? Then you flux to do a lot of damage and let your team clean up after. I would flux like... Very big flux right there. Saria right now has no bubbles. Thank you for the follow, Lexa. Um, Saria right now has no bubbles, so all you got to do is catch them in the flux. The Ryan will not die, but he'll be very low, and everyone else is like very exposed as well. So you may get a kill, and even if you don't get an immediate kill, you will drain the resources hard, making it a lot easier for your team to win the fight. Instead, we are just backing out. I, again, I'm not against you backing out. Backing out is the right thing to do against Ryan. You don't want Ryan to be close, like you don't want Sigma to be, like you don't want Monkey to be close, I mean. But this is honestly the point where I would just be like, I'm gonna flux. And again, if you have flux at the beginning of the fight, they probably would have been able to nano blade. Nano bulk blade, by the way. That can they, they really drafted their Genji. But fight is lost at this point, yeah. So it just came down to the use salts first. If you had used salts first, you probably could have won the fight. But they used salts first and they probably won the fight because of that. Well, not Polly, definitely won the fight because of his Nano Blade, which is really good. We cannot recontest this, like... Please do not go out there and flex. I beg of you. We got grab out, like, you know what? I'm okay with you coming out here, but only because there's grab. They didn't have you. Like, the fight was won before grab. The fight, this one is definitely lost, but just the fact that they got grab out, and by the way, it's their mistake, it's not your... You, it's not uh, something you did, I just made a mistake by using grab. But I guess we did use... Pulse Bomb? Pulse Bomb? Also, they're using High Noon as well, which is really weird, they are heavily investing onto this one. So there is a way you can get out, and it's called jumping off the map. Otherwise, it's gonna be very difficult for you to escape literally everyone on their team coming to get you. You're lucky Ryan missed a charge. That Ryan really wanted the Rath. Good block. And the Ryan is dead. That Ryan is kinda throwing. Great, great, 
I don't even know what to call it. The, the block, the block on the shadow was right. The block on the shadow was really good. Can stop using this to block spam damage. Your shield is not a, a run shield, it's not there to block spam damage. Also, just secure the fight. Flux this. It's very tempting. Your, your monkey is dead, so we absolutely should be flexing right now. The Saria has no bubbles, she already used both of them. So just, just flex, just flex. What are you holding it for? 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 We've had it for a very long time now. Press Q, win the fight. No more Ryan, they got Roadhog now. Which is good for us. Ryan is a lot more of a problem than Roadhog is. Or Sigma. I want to know why you are holding on to Flux right now. You can't block this again. This is you've been wasting this, and you've been wasting this, and you've been wasting your shield as well. I'll be honest. Your aim is solid. Like your your aim is not bad. I will say that. We win the fight. Fight it. at this point. You should not use your ult. It's already won. I still don't know why what why you are holding it though. Like we've had it since the first point, basically. Like this chasing, get the mercy. Rock the Genji. Never mind, rock the man rock the mercy, good job. And we get out. We, like we don't have to we confirm the kill. We get out because spam damage means nothing to us. We already cut flux. So what do we do again? We just play here, we wait for them to start coming, spam them as they come in, then just flux. Ideally, after Saria has used pop up, which shouldn't be hard because this area has been using the bubbles very, very early. Like that, you're saving your shield, like you put it out to use, to block spam damage, but at the very least, you took it back. I, I compliment you for something, and then you shoot me in the foot. Like again, no need to block spam damage. You've got a hundred HP to work with for free. Why? Because this is shield HP. You can take a little bit of spam damage. It's better than you take the spam damage than having your shield at half HP at all times. <clears throat> By the way, flux. Again, you should be flexing early. You can get so much value out of flux. I don't know why you're not. And again, they're going to nanoblade before you use your ult. We use trans. Bad flags, two reasons. The first one, you look away from their team in the middle of the air, which means that you can dodge uh, things that are really hard to dodge anyway. And you didn't put your shield up. Put a shield up before every flux. If it's fine, if it breaks, flux should win you the fight. Like, why did you not put your shield up? You were basically asking to get CC. They got three different CCs. The Genji Nano Blades, Nano Blades uh, kills through Trans even. Also, great net from Diana. This is a long one. Ego Brothog, because I, I don't know why. You should be going ball. Sorry. Ball to touch. Ball to touch, ball to touch. Great kill on the Saria, good hook. Okay, you know what? Maybe you hold this. I'm not against you staying on hog if you want to stay on hog, but it's it's fine. It's not ideal, but it's fine. We do hold, which is nice. We missed the hook, it's okay. I want to point out, by the way, you've used one flux. It's been seven minutes, and you've used one flux. This is what I mean by when I mean that you should not be holding on to your ult for so long. Genji has has three nano blades. McCree has had four high noons. We've seen three crafts. You've used one flux. Again, your mechanical skills are actually probably the uh, the best thing you've got in your kit. And you're hiding behind cover, which is something I like. Oh, oh, oh. 
missed the hook, uh, not missed, just hooked the bubble, which is unfortunate. Good kill from your McCree. You pushed the McCree, healed and pushed the McCree. Yep, good job. Uh, you stay on the arc to both block him, I mean. You kill him anyway, which is fine. Great hook, save your McCree's life. Reload, when you are doing nothing at the very least reload. And ult. Here you just ult to give them away. Your ult is not extremely valuable, so trading it for grab is a win in most cases. Took the hug, good kill. Macri to your right. I mean, Macri merge to your right. By the way, playing a brother, you can animation cancel the reload. It's a little advanced, but yeah, might as well throw it out there. I'm not going to into depth as to to explain it because this is mostly supposed to be a segment of you, I believe. So we won't go into depth into hog. What's that? That's a weird window. Great picks from your DPS. Free hook, free hook, free hook, free hook. Late, but we still get the kill. Well, Tracer gets the kill and we hold, right? Yeah. Nice. Okay. We go out up top, so this is fine. You drop, you prepare to go into the angle. This is okay. I like this. Putting your shield up before shooting is okay, because you are taking an off angle. <clears throat> I don't think you were coordinated with the Orisa, but if you were, when she pulls, you broke and you CC someone. Take your shield up. Yeah, keep shooting. You got step. By the way, this is what I mean when I say that you shouldn't be blocking random spam damage with your shield. You put it up, shoot, then take it down, take a second, shoot, block cooldowns. They are not even paying attention to you anyway. Now they are. Again, no reason to you do this. You got full health, full shield. Why are you sucking? Because you have it available and that's that's the reason I can give you. And it's not a good reason. That Anna should be dead. Good rock. She's one. She's dead. Great job. I think you did okay on that fight. <coughs> <clears throat> Here you just play defensive. Again, stop blocking spam damage with the barrier. It's fine to take like even a hundred damage is fine because you got healers who are going to be healing you, and these shield regions anyway. Your team is dead. Wait for your team. Like, why are you going forward? Like half of your team is not here. Also, you are Sigma. Why are you going forward? Again, no reason to use this. You are just using it because you have it. I like the rogue. Like, you didn't get it, but it was it was the right idea. If you rogue a half HP deflecting Genji, you can just confirm the kill. Again, take your shield out. As soon as you are in a safer position, you don't need your shield anymore. This is shooting. This is shooting. I'm not against taking off angles as Sigma, but you need to position yourself for the off angle before the height happens. Now it's not the time to make this off angle, now is the time to be with your team and push forward. Great value still, but yeah. Broke the Genji right away, by the way. Yeah, you. You got stronger twice. Should still be a one fight. I don't like his pan. It's playing again. Is it not over yet? No, it's over. Again, I wanted to I want to see you engage with Flux. They got Orisa, Rothog, and uh, they got a lot of people who are going to be apart and a few are going to be grouped up together. So ignore the Orisa because she, she's got 45. Everyone else, 
You gun flux. I'm okay with this. Remember, you don't have to be this close. You can play here. Instead. Yeah, again, this is the reason you don't... I keep saying again because I explained this already, but... This is the reason you don't put out your shield out there to block spam damage. It just gets melted nowadays. Instead, you use cover and health. You expose yourself as little as possible by going from cover, out, shoot, back to cover. And the 100 or so damage you take can be killed by your healers or by your regen. By the way, again, flax, please. Are we ever gonna use this? We shatter and your team wins the fight for you. It's still okay to use flags if you want to secure the fight. It should be a fight win anyway. Yeah, it, it's fine. I, I just wanted to use flags. Stop chasing after everyone like you were like, Orisa, oh, wait no Anna, wait no Roto, wait no Orisa, the side on someone and kill them. I, I would honestly still use flags to secure the point. Great kill. Careful your doom fist. Great kill on Orisa. I really like the melee after the shots. Great rock as well. No reason to again no reason to use this. You got full HP right now. And basically sucking in front of Rotog is asking to get hooked and demolished. Good bounce kill on the Genji though. Rotho is still alone to your left, you should be chasing him. Yeah, never mind, I just charge him. Kentho, why are we not flexing? It's been 13 minutes and we used a whole one flux. Second, I'm gonna drink some water because my throat is like dry as throat. Okay, <clears throat> we keep going. You don't want to take this flank. Why? Because this is very a very tight choke. At the at the most, all you can do is just spam here to try to get some value. But it's better for you to just be here. If you have to, you can either go this way, or you can just stand behind your right. <clears throat> In the end, you basically got here at the same time than your team, but you couldn't shoot the entire way because, well, you took a weird rotation. By the way, Flax, force the trans out. Like, this would be the perfect time to just Flax both of the supports and get trans out. I hate this. They use trans already, so <clears throat> no reason to use this. Like they're gonna be fine because trans. They use nanoblade. They kill two people. This is no value, basically. You get a kill, but the fight is not already. So uh, your aim is good. Your positioning is okay. Your use of cooldowns is probably the worst you've got. Like the sack, you just use it whenever you have it available without giving it any thought. The rock, it's okay. I will say the rock is probably the best of your cooldowns. And the sig is probably also not great. Like, stop using it to eat spam damage. Only use it to block cooldowns. And if you are taking damage, just play with cover. And press Q more often. It, like, by the way, 4 minutes. We only need to get it 5 meters. It should be a one fight. I won't game, I mean. High noon, make it a kill. Why are you looking behind you? Don't, like... You don't have to put the shield here. You can put the shield here if you really, really want to. But in either case, it's unnecessary. Don't look away from the opponent, like, ever. Also shoot through the matrix. 
You could be getting a lot of value, yet you're getting none. Could focus on the Zen with a shield up because it's Saria. You swap from the Zen who was very low to shoot at the Saria. Don't do that. Stick with this. Look at his health. One shot is a, a kill. Stay on the sun. Just, just stay on the sun and kill the sun. I think you think Saria has crab because you are eating in front of her face, but she doesn't. You get hooked and you lose the fight. Could you have won that fight? Yeah, definitely. Your team got first day, you just didn't follow up. And you keep trashing targets, you keep getting closer, and you keep using this really badly. Let's see how this one goes. Time with the spam. This is okay, I like it. Three dragons, which should mean we can push forward with the dragons. <clears throat> because dragons basically is, is their team. So you just choose one half and you push that half. So in this case, I would be like, oh, the Saria is alone here. I'm just gonna come here, put a shield here, and kill the Saria. So she can the shield here, so she can't get healed. <clears throat> I think you reacted late on the grab. Mr. Rock, it's fine, you should be able to kill him. Maybe not, it's a lost fight anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright. So we've wasted two minutes and got nothing done. And now they've got all the advantage. So what do we do? We just go forward. We build the road and we don't use it. And we try to force as many ults as we can. <clears throat> I'm... Uh, I'm not... I, I... You are so close. Why are you playing so close? With Sigma you can play behind these corners. And still get the same value. Like, you can shoot from here. Like, again, you want to be as far away as possible. Because you don't have a damage uh, range drop-off. By the way, what's with this? But they do. Like, Roadhog is really good, really close. Doomfist can do a lot of damage really close. Sarah is really good, really close. You are really good, really far. So why are you closing up the distance? It's like you're doing them a favor. Want to shoot me? Well, here, let me introduce myself. Flax. Never mind, I said flags by instinct because they played it, but like I said earlier, you just want to take a dry fight and get as many ults out of them as possible and just lose. We use go, they use go. This is fine. We just die here, we accept our death, and they've used one, two, three ults to our one. So this is positive. Next fight, we got three ults, they got one. So what's your job? You want to all as early as possible to get the trans out. Because trans is a fight winning ultimate for them. So I would really be like, okay, where is the sun? Where? Again, stop using your shield to block random scrum damage. I see the sun, I trans around the sun. I, sorry. I flex around the sun so he uses. Um, well, two things. First, you, you flex around the sun so he uses trans. Secondly, you can get up here by using flex. That's a really good position for you. In either case though, flags, like again, as early as possible. Flags, just 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 do it, just do it. Your run is dead because you are taking too long. Why are you not flexing? Why are you eating against Saria? Run gets rest, that's pretty good. The sun, the sun! Okay, we force trans anyway. We literally get no one, but we force trans out anyway. So that's a mistake on their sense part. But that was a really bad flag. Like this is, I said that this is really bad. This is also really bad. Your shield is not good, mostly because you keep using it to block spam damage. But at the very least, you are getting value out of it. Not as much value as you could be getting, but these are really getting no value at all. Yeah, we basically just, we waste flags, but we freeze people and kill them, because of Blizzard. 
this should be a one a win. And it should have been a win a lot earlier as well, but you know. Sometimes it cannot be as we want it to be. We just win. So out of everything I can tell you, the biggest things are um so the biggest quote unquote mistakes is that you keep using your cooldowns for no reason. Like especially this one. But also you're playing very close. I would say that out of the mistakes you make, playing further away will improve your gameplay the most. I usually say you don't want to focus on everything at once. You want to work on things one by one because if you work on too many things, your attention becomes split. But on the other hand, you work on one thing, you focus on one thing, it eventually becomes a second nature, you do it uh, just without paying any attention to it, and then you can move on to the next thing. And I think playing further away and not walking forward for no reason is what you should be working on. Even though it's not as bad as literally getting no cooldown out of your hold or out of your cooldowns, I think it is what will improve your gameplay the most. After you've gotten used to playing a little bit further back, then you can work on getting value out of your ult, remember? Two ways to use it, and a lot of people just opt for the very early option, because it means that you get all charged in the cleanup, right? If you use this early to force resources, after they've used all of their resources, you can get all charged back in the cleanup. If you choose to use it late when they have no resources, Flax will probably either kill them or leave them very close to death, so you will not get uh, any ult charge back. Also, especially when they have like trance, you just use it as, as early as possible to get trance out of the way, so your team can engage after, because your team is not gonna win if they have trance, right? It's very difficult to win a fight where they have trance, so you've got to force trance sentence out before your team can properly engage. So just flax early, get the send, it's not ideal, but they will like always guarantee it use uh, trance if they have it when you flex them and at least one other person. In the case, overall, not bad, but could be a lot better. Like a lot better. Uh, again, focus on playing further away. I would say further away is your first priority. Like, let's put it as this. Let me see if yellow looks a little better. I think so. So the first thing is the distance. I want you to play a little further away and focus on staying further away than probably your ult because ult is actually really good, flex, and you're getting very little value out of it. And then your sack because your sack is getting actually never mind. Your shield probably comes first. Stop using your shield for random spam. Then you can work on your sack. But right now, I would say focus on creating distance and maintaining distance between you and the enemy tanks who want to be close to you, like Saria, like Brothok, like Reinhardt, like Diva, like basically everyone but Sigma and Orisa. Okay, let's hope, I, I hope that was helpful. Gonna take a short break to hydrate again and go to the bathroom and I'll be right back with another one. Alright, I am back, hello chat. Let's move on to the next one, which is actually a DPS one. 
since you were asking earlier, Leska? Yeah, I don't only do tank, I do 